We're now going to focus on uh, retrieving results from our database. At the moment, all we're really doing is checking whether the uh, last query returned anything or not. Uh, we don't actually have a way as of yet to return the results. Um, what we're also going to do is introduce a method that allows us to return only the first result. Because if we were to say query where a specific user was concerned like this, uh, we're checking in the users database uh, table, sorry, where the username is equal to, uh, to Alex. Um, we only really want to return the first result. Now the result set will return us an object um, or a list, uh, an array of, of, of objects basically. So we only want to get the first one. Let's go ahead and, uh, and introduce these methods then. They're very, very straightforward. Um, and the first one, the first method will, will make a lot of sense hopefully as well. Let's go ahead and create these down here then. So we need a public function called results. And that's basically just going to return this results. So remember, as part of these methods here that we've created and as part of this that we've created, we're not actually storing any results in here. We're doing that within our main query method, uh, which is um, uh, setting the results here to the um, the, the results, uh, the fetch all method, and uh, we're retrieving the results as an object. So all that's going to do is return the results now. So what we can do is, um, if um, if this query has returned some results, we can use for each to say um, user results as user, and we can then echo username, and we could just append a line break on just for the sake of an example. So here then, oops. Um, Let's just check what's happened here. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Uh, we would say user username, my mistake. So in that case, then we're just returning Alex. We've only got one record in our database. Let's go ahead and just uh, put another user in um, just for the sake of it. Again, all of this will be hashed eventually. We're just um, testing this out for now. Uh, set a join date and we'll set the group to one. So refreshing. Oh, well, obviously, we're only going to get one result here now. Uh, but let's go ahead and change this to, um, let's say, um, well, we could just do a, a standard query, I guess, on this. Um, so we can just say query select start from users. That's a good point, really. Um, perhaps our, um, our get method and our our action method should take into the account that we only want to retrieve all records from users, but that could be easily amended. For our purposes, we're probably not going to need to do that. Uh, you might need to do that if you want to just output a list of all the users on, on the site or something like that. But um, once you've understood how that works, it shouldn't be too hard to, to change. So now we have Alex and Billy output. Um, now what happens if we only want to get the first result? Um, in that case, if we revert back to the uh, or the get method, we don't want to have to loop through if we only know that we're going to get one user record. It's pointless. There's no need to loop through um, a, a set of results. Now, of course, what we could do is we could say echo uh, user results and depending on what version of PHP you're using, you can uh, basically just use um, the uh, pick out what you want from uh, directly after the return of the function. So we could just say this username and that would work. We would just get the user Alex out because that's the first and only record. Now, there's no real need to do this, though. Uh, we'd better we'd it'd be a lot better to put it inside a, a method here so we could say public function first which would return the first result and we can just say return this results zero or even better we could say return this results zero like that so we're making use of this method inside of here so now what we can do is instead of doing that we can echo uh, user first username perfect so now that will just echo our Alex so that's how we would retrieve uh, results from our our database using our database wrapper either through looping through a uh, result of many or just picking the first result if we know there's ever uh, only going to be one result